Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Haris Khan. In today's lecture, we are going to learn that how can we deploy Node.js project to ourselves. So let's get started. The first thing you have to just open a Node.js project. As you can see on my screen, I have opened a Node.js project. Like this is a project which has a node module and the main file is server.js. Maybe in your case, it might be index.js or ape.js or server.js, whatever. So the first step is to create here a file with the name versal.json. Whenever you create a file versal.json, then you have to paste a piece of code. I provide this in the description, you can check there. So uh, the thing you will change is here the file name. Like in my case, it is a server.js, so it is it will be here as well, server.js. But maybe in your case, it might be different. So you have to uh, put there the correct name. For example, if here uh, you would have uh, index.js so there should also be index.js the second step is first we have to save this the second step is to come to the package.json and check here the main file by default it would be index.js but if you place the name as a if you given the name as a server.js so change this to the server.js as well now let's uh move this thing or let me hide this so let's start this first npm start to check the project is running then we will go to deploy it okay it's starting let me pause the video Okay, it will run. Uh, let's open another tab and type here npm install the virtual you should install npm install mylet v1. Okay, let it install. And here, as you can see, the server is running on port 5000, like I defined here in our uh, server.js. And let's see hello world from bacon when we type here localhost 5000. Yes, hello from bacon. So whenever we deploy it, we would also be looking for this message. If we got this message, it means we have successfully, we would have been successfully deployed the project. Okay, let it install. Okay, it has been installed. Now the second step is just if you didn't uh, log in your Versal, so you can just simply type here Versal space login. So then you would be able to log in. After logging to the Versal, you just type Versal and press enter. So name of my virtual account you so I click here because I'm deploying there link to the existing project so I would say no and what's your project name let me uh, leave this default name and also let me enter because I want it to be located at the same directory so this is the step where my project is now building so the main thing you people should care about is versal.json configuration, which is very easy, but you have to put the specific name that you have given to your uh, index file. Like in my case, I uh, gave a name server.js. And the second step is you should go there to confirm in the package.json. And the third step is just type a virtual command. And this is nothing but you know, it has been almost deployed. Let's wait for the building. Whenever you type virtual, uh, for example, if you open a command, uh, sorry, uh, command prompt and enter virtual, and you get that virtual is not defined. So you should to in, uh, go in, enter the command npm install minus g virtual. 
so versal will be installed after that if you type a command versal and uh, so they will uh, redirect you to the your email that please enter your email because uh, to make you login so whenever you enter your email they ask for the password once you enter the password after this whenever you type versal then this process will be happen okay it's almost deployed let's see is it correct or not uh, because if we got the message uh, hello world from backend so it mean it would be deployed yes that's awesome that's amazing guys that's what we did whenever you deploy the changes in second time for that you would not uh, write here versal but instead you will write versal double uh, dash and prot and then you will enter so the changes you would have been made to the project would be deployed so if I see this project in my versal account let me show you over there as well I visit my versal uh, here you can say I like, see a uh, differentiate backend so this is the main URL I can use everywhere I want to use that was a temporary URL given by the that particular build but my main URL which will be remain same all the time although when I push changes so I would use this URL so I can use this in as a base URL in my front-end project and whenever I push the changes it will be deployed on this link as well so hope guys you might learn something more in the future so you can stay connect with me this is what everyone not just developer is in the opinion to have a pre-deployment site and Versal is basically designed for static site but we achieved to have backend uh, back like things as well so thank you guys for watching we'll meet in the next lecture till that Allah Hafiz